And welcome to part 4 of Mega Man X4 on the X playthrough. We're still going through Slash Beast stage, which is one big train. And now we've reached the Maverick himself, Slash Beast. Challenging my unit was both foolish and reckless. You are nothing more than my prey, one that is soon to be retired. Slash Beast is weak against Jet Stingray's weapon, go figure. When you hit him with it, he'll retaliate by doing this dash attack that goes all the way to the wall, and you can hit him twice. Basically hit him, he'll do his move, hit him again, because his vulnerability will wear out just in time. And you can take out Slash Beast pretty damn quickly with the uh, special ability. <laughs> the Mavericks look like chumps in this game, but if you actually play the game as zero, they're, they don't go by the weakness rule of when you get hit, do a certain pattern, you know? X is by far the easy mode of the game, if you want my honest opinion, but we'll be playing Zero's playthrough later. Not that Zero's is, like, so hard the game is cheap, it's just a little bit more challenging. We get Twin Slasher, which lets us shoot two triangular weapons at the same time, which is always swell. X, I'll wait for you at the Memorial Hall. Make sure you show up on time. Sir, this must be a trap. Perhaps, but I won't run this time. Well, how noble. Yeah, when you defeat four Mavericks, you have to go into a forced boss fight, and you can't skip out of it. You have to play it. Luckily, though, it's not that bad. Colonel, stop this foolish just now. Never. Colonel, please, think this over. The Repli Force must be independent. Our battle will determine this. <laughs> this battle will determine your independency? Well, I better win then. So, Colonel has this very simple pattern. He uh, shoots three waves. One goes up, one goes down, then another goes up. You can jump over all three of them, but uh, you can also dash under the high ones. So, that's an option, but I just choose to jump over them because they're not that hard to dodge, really. He shoots them slow enough. When he disappears, he reappears right in front of you and then slashes. So that's basically the easiest strategy to know is as soon as he disappears, jump backwards and he should miss you. And uh, he doesn't really have any weaknesses that I know of. I didn't remember any weaknesses anyway. So just keep firing and charging the Mega Buster and uh, this battle's pretty damn simple. He just does this over and over again. And I wish there was more to say. <laughs> but really, that's it. It's just that basic. Colonel's pretty easy to beat. Impressive. But the result won't be the same next time. Until then. Colonel! And that's pretty much it. They just forced that little boss fight in the middle of the Mavericks. You kill four, you fight Colonel, and then you have to go kill the other four. So anyway, let's go take out Web Spider. He protects the secret weapon of the jungle. Whatever that weapon is, we never discover. This is actually a very easy level, and uh, it's good for first-time players. I know I played it first, because it just seemed like a grassy area is usually the first place you want to play. Because grassy areas, that must be easy, right? And Web Spider isn't necessarily that challenging. He can really rough your shit up if he touches you enough, but... If you can dodge his attacks well, he's not that bad. But when we go to the right here... Oh, Dr. Light Capsule! Hooray! This battle should never have happened, X. Why must Reploids fight each other? Uh, I asked this all last three games, Dr. Light. We're never gonna know the answer to this fucking question. Equip with this to discover the truth. Equip with this boot module and jump twice in the air to hover. You can move either left or right and will remain airborne for a few moments. It is effective for negotiating through higher and more dangerous terrain. Stop this tragic war as soon as possible. X. So how did Dr. Light know that uh, there was going to be a war between the Reploids? Well, the Light Capsules, as it's been shown in X4 and onwards, is apparently some kind of virtual AI that is sentient and it's alive and it knows everything about everything that's going on around the world. So the Dr. Light he didn't just make capsules to leave upgrades for X, he also left an AI program that could necessarily talk to him and teach him about Dr. Light or something. I don't know, but, you know, the AI is alive. 
Dr. Light is alive in a computer form, if that makes sense. I don't know, it sounds retarded, but in X6, uh, I know in one of the light capsules you can actually ask about the ending in X5, and Dr. Light will, won't answer anything. But I'm giving way too much away by talking about that. As for Web Spider's level, pretty simple, and especially since I got the Dr. Light capsule, because now we can air dash, and air dashing is always great. I can't imagine a Mega Man X game without it. We can also hover, but it's a pretty useless ability. By the time you try and hover anywhere, you've already run out of jet fuel and you fall instantly, and it's really only good for a certain boss fight later. And I mean a certain boss fight later, 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 late in the game. Otherwise, this level's pretty basic. Uh, there is a heart tank here in this level, but uh, you can't get it unless you've gotten Magma Dragoon's fire weapon, and luckily for us, we did just that, so we're gonna be going getting that one. There's a lot of robotic beehives in this area. If you take him out, you can take him out and the bees with one supercharged Mega Buster shot. So I'd recommend charging up your Buster for this area. Because there's tons of beehives, folks. Tons of them. And you do not want to be stunned. These enemies remind me of those old red guys from the original Mega Man. The ones that were in Cutman stage that, you know, moved left and right across the screen. Those little bastards. So anyway, the heart tank, the heart tank is under here. Just go under this path, air dash, and you can destroy the log with the fire. And inside's a heart tank. Booyah! The heart tank's good for getting shortcuts all over this place, but, uh, you know. They're not really mandatory, they're just there for the hell of it. But folks, we finally reached the Maverick. We finally reached... reached... Web Spider. Jesus, I'm stuttering like Dr. Light now all of a sudden. Let's fight Web Spider! Warning! <laughs> oh, there's the weapon. It's a gigantic cannon. I'm sure that's gonna be fun. You've labeled us all as Mavericks. I won't let you pass. Turn back now. No? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to kill you then. So he's weak against Slash Beast weapon, but not really. It's his supposed weakness, but it doesn't do that much damage to him, and, you know, maybe I should have just resorted to using the X-Buster, but I don't know. He shoots this web, which is pretty damn good at homing in on you, and it's pretty hard to dodge. Uh, all I can say is be quick, maybe let it come to you a little bit close, and then dash out of the way right when it's about to reach you. But even then, it can catch you that sometimes like that. Or better yet, just do what I'm doing, because I seem to be a, doing a good job dodging it. At around half health, he'll create this spider web. Don't worry, the web can't hurt you, you can run into it. Uh, but he will be dropping bombs, spiders, and all kinds of annoying things. And you can keep hitting him, he won't be hiding in the trees anymore, so now the fight will go around a lot smoother. But he can also spawn the webs himself a lot quicker. Otherwise, the web spider is pretty damn simple. I took him out with no problem. And with five heart tanks so far, it's easy to see why. Yeah! By defeating Web Spider, we get Lightning Web. It is an attack, you can destroy enemies, but it's basically, it's a way to create a wall in midair so you can wall jump to a higher place. And it's good for getting a secret item in Frost Walrus' stage, and it's gonna be good for getting a certain Dr. Light capsule in another Maverick level. But until then, this is Split Mushroom. And his level starts off with this, uh, I don't know if it's lazy or not, but basically it's just a background of stairs and you just keep running to the right of it and eventually you'll reach a teleporter. It's not hard to make that image, you know? <laughs> They're just making the same image flash through like 10 million times. Anyway folks, I'll see you in part 5.